What's up guys? With the need for faster cooking or just cooking experience in general, artifacts and lightstones are a perfect way to getting most from cooking. Welcome back to the channel all about life skilling. My name's Teddy and today I'll be showing you how to reduce your cooking time and get more experience while using the lightstone combination fundamentals of cooking. So even if you're trying to level those main cooks or just wanting to get the most out of cooking without having to choose between mastery or speed, get those cooking utensils ready and let's start building the fundamentals of cooking lightstone combination. I'm out here in the northern wheat plantation to show you how to get the lightstone combination made. Now, we all know how long it can take to level cooking and just how the cook time can be slower when choosing to use mannos instead of silver embroidered. To help this, using the lightstone combination, fundamentals of cooking, provides both experience and the time reduction like wearing the silver embroidered with some mastery like with lakia and mannos. Now, this is not going to be a replacement for either clothes, but a way to complement your cooking experience and this is going to be a huge investment, so be prepared. Taking a look at this combination, here Here's what it has to offer. Using this combination alone reduces cook time by 2 seconds, plus 10% cooking experience, plus 20 cooking mastery, and lastly plus 30 to weight limit. As for the artifacts, these can further increase either cooking experience or mastery depending on which ones are used with cooking having their own artifacts, and the generic life experience and life mastery artifacts can be used just the same. So the question you might have now is, how do you get this combination and the artifacts? Getting the set or artifacts can be done by either performing any life skilling for the generic and for the cooking ones, these have to be obtained from turning in Imperial cookboxes to any Imperial craft NPC. When doing so, there is a small chance for a Dalishin's bonus quest rewarding one, but be warned, these are hard to come by with processing artifacts and floral lightstones being rewarded from the same quest. Comment down below letting me know if you were able to get the artifacts you need or if you're still searching. I've been working on getting as many artifacts and combinations as I can. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying all the life skilling content here on the channel. But if RNG hasn't put you off yet, let's get into the floral lightstones needed. To complete this combination requires one secret floral lightstone, the dreaded stir floral lightstone, one feather wind lightstone, and lastly, an iridescent lightstone. Getting floral lightstones can be done by performing all life skilling activities from gathering to trade crates. While doing these, there is a small chance of finding an impurified floral lightstone, so keep your eyes peeled. As for the wind, these can be found while mob grinding all around Black Desert at a low drop rate, so if you're looking for these, don't forget to increase your item drop rate as high as you can. The lightstones can be purified at Dalashin at the cost of two lightstones and 200,000 silver, or these can be purified using alchemy once you hit Guru 1. Purified lightstones are another way to get the stones needed, but to get these require exchanging any already made lightstone. These won't cost any to exchange and will produce any one of the random fire, wind, earth, or floral lightstone. Iridescent lightstones, however, have a chance of being dropped from any dark rift boss or grinding out in the mountain of eternal wind region if you have the AP. All these lightstones can be bought from the central market too if you have the money. One last thing to keep in mind, the feather wind lightstone has a small chance of being produced, with stir being one of the hardest ones to find with a lower chance of being produced. And yes, this is completely RNG oriented and can cost a lot of silver purifying stones looking for the ones you needed if your alchemy level is not guru yet. But once the combination is completed, this is a great way to get the most from cooking without needing to buy the canape outfit. Though being a step down, not needing to use real money to finally be able to get that one second cooking, this combination is perfect for any cook. For cooks looking to get more out of cooking or just speed up those slow cook times, the fundamentals of cooking lightstone combination for the settler's artifacts is perfect. This won't cost real money and with some time, silver, and effort, this lightstone combination can make a huge difference to those who can't get a plus four silver embroidered or a tri menos cook clothes. And because I've been enjoying all of the settler artifacts and lightstone combinations, I've tried to get as many as I can. But if if you want to see how to make another lightstone combination, check out this playlist, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next lightstone combination. Keep gathering out there.